Get ready for some juicy and tender brisket on the Pit Boss Pro Series Elite Vertical Smoker. Welcome back to another episode of Pit Boss Backyard Bosses. Andrew here, better known as the Grill Sergeant. You may remember me from such films as The Matrix and Smoke White and the Seven Grills. Today in this episode, we are doing a Texas staple smoked low and slow, and that is the brisket. Now the brisket is a big chunk of meat, and if you are new to backyard barbecue, it can get pretty intimidating, but in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to trim it, season it, and smoke it. Now to barbecue this brisket right, we will be using the Pit Boss Pro Series Elite Vertical Smoker. And with its rapid fire igniter, smoke mode 70 pound hopper, and with a temperature range of 130 degrees to 420 degrees, this smoker can handle anything and everything. So if you did want to raise your barbecue game, check out this Pit Boss at your local Lowe's. Today's recipe idea I found on the Pit Boss website. So if you're ever in need of a good backyard barbecue recipe, make sure to check out their recipes on the website. So next to me here, we have a brisket. Now this is a full packer brisket. You're gonna have a lot of hard fat on this brisket and that is what we are going to be trimming back. If we flip this brisket over, this is called the fat cap and you have this layer of fat on it. Now it really helps after trimming a brisket over and over again is seeing the shape of the brisket you want. A good trim brisket is not gonna have any rough edges. I'm going to be taking my long slicing knife and you have this side right here. We are going to pretty much just come along and we are going to slice along this side. And you would think, man, that's a huge chunk that you took off. But if you actually look, you have a little meat in here, but mostly this is just fat. I usually like lifting the bottom of the brisket we're just going to slice across just like this. And we are going to now start shaping this. All right, now that we got the brisket all trimmed down, I'm gonna take some paper towels and we are just gonna pat the brisket down. For the rub, we're gonna be applying Pit Boss's Sweet Rib Rub. Now in Texas, we mainly do half salt, half pepper, but the fun with Backyard Barbecue is trying out new things. We're just gonna come in here and give a nice coating to the backside. Now with a brisket, don't be worried about, oh, did I over season it? You can go a little bit more heavy than what you're typically used to. Now we're gonna flip this around. Now this is the presentation side, so I do try to make everything a little bit more even on this side. And then we're just gonna pat in. And we do wanna make sure we are getting the sides as well. You want full coverage. And what you can do is you can pick it up and move it all around, picking up any excess rub if it can take it. All right, I'm gonna put a lid and cover this. That's gonna give a chance for the rub to start penetrating into the brisket. And while we're waiting on that, let's fire up the smoker. All right, it's time to load up the hopper. I have Pit Boss Hardwood Oak Blend Pellet. Ooh, time to get it in the hopper. Sweet. Now I'm gonna show you how I set up my smoker for brisket. First thing I'm gonna do is turn her on and then under settings, under P setting, I'm gonna turn it to smoke mode and we are gonna turn this all the way up to P7. And for temp, we're gonna turn this to 275. Now I'm gonna have the brisket on this shelf. So I'm gonna move this rack out of the way. The brisket will still fit, but this is just gonna give us more room to actually work with it and spritz it down when we need to. And then this rack down here, I'm going to put a water pan. Yeah, I found these ones at Costco and they are the perfect size for this smoker. Now this part is optional, but if you actually like a little bit more smoke onto your brisket, you can put a smoke tube in here. These are loaded up with pellets and now I'm gonna get this lit. There we go. 
All right, let's get this brisket onto the smoker. All right, let's close her up. We're gonna let the smoker do its job. I don't even look at the brisket until four hours later. We really wanna make sure that rub binds to the brisket. For the spritz, you can use beef broth or beef consomme. That's what we're gonna be using for the spritz down. But other than that, we're gonna let her bathe in smoke and we'll tune back in in four hours. All right, it's been four hours. Let's go check on the brisket. All right, time to spritz this brisket down. I have my beef consomme. We're just going to spritz it all down. So I'm gonna spritz this brisket down every hour and we'll tune back in when it's time to wrap. All right, we have been faithfully spritzing down every hour and now it is time to pull for the wrap. Man, the color on that has a nice jiggle to it. All right, I got two pieces of heavy duty aluminum foil and then we have our butcher paper for the top. I got some heavy duty gloves because that brisket is going to be hot. Here we go. And I do have some more of our beef consomme spray. Just gonna spray this down. So now I'm gonna take the butcher paper and I'm literally just gonna place it right on top like this. Just gonna fold up and roll up the sides just like so. And now it's time to put this back on the smoker. Now I'm going to plug in one of the food probes. So we got the temp probe in, and then right over here, and that number says 203, 204, 205, somewhere in that ballpark, we are done. All right, it is time to pull our brisket. Let's see how we did. Here's our little bundle of joy. Let's see how we did. Oh. So as much as I want to slice in, now it's time for the rest. The secret with resting a brisket is the longer you can let it rest, the juicier and more tender it becomes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's late at night. I'm going to wrap this up. We're going to put it in a cooler, and then tomorrow we are going to enjoy it. So I'm going to take our brisket. We're going to set it right here. So now we are going to take the juice that is in this foil. We are going to put this on top. Now we are going to wrap. And you can spritz. This will help wet the paper down a little bit. We're going to fold it forward like so. Fold it one more time. And then just like that, we have our little bundle of joy right here. Now normally I will use a bigger cooler but I just got this Pelican one. It's a little bit more compact but I'm going to actually see if it fits. If it does that is going to be awesome. So the main thing with using a cooler and resting a brisket is it's as simple as you have your brisket, you have a towel, and make sure to use the towels that are okayed by the wife. Man I got in so much trouble. I'd be like why do these towels smell like brisket? So make sure you have your brisket towel. And I'm going to set this. Oh, wow. That's insane. Fits like a glove. Beautiful. So I'm going to put that right in there. It is resting. I'm going to bring this inside and then we'll check it out tomorrow morning. So the cooler is an awesome, awesome tool to keeping your brisket warm. And a trick I like doing is throwing it back in the smoker at 135 for a few hours and that will just get it that perfect serving temperature. And you can keep it in there as long as you want at that set temperature. I'm gonna take the brisket out of the smoker. All right, here she is. Mm. Don't know about y'all, but I am ready to carve into this brisket. Look at that little jiggle there. That is a good sign. Wow, look at that. All the fat is rendered out in here. You don't want to squeeze the brisket. We worked hard to keep that juice in there, but man, oh man. And look at the smoke ring on there. All right, my favorite part, the taste test. Let's go in here. 
This is the flat color on that is just awesome. It holds up under its own weight, which you want to see, but at the same time, it just pulls apart like it's nothing. So, bon appetit. Woo. You know if you can get the flat that juicy and moist, you nailed a really, really good brisket. So now I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to try some of the point, which again, this is going to be even crazier. Can't stop eating it so good. All right. I'm going to bring this in and feed the family. Do consider subscribing to this Pit Boss YouTube channel to get awesome tips, tricks to level up your barbecue game. I'm Grill Sergeant, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Grill Sergeant out.